In this video, I'm planning to explain indeterminate form 0 over 0. We have five indeterminate forms 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, 0 times infinity, infinity minus infinity, and 1 to the power of infinity. These are indeterminate forms for us. Indeterminate forms here we, that we cannot calculate, but uh, with the help of limit, we can calculate the result. Why 0, 0 over 0 is in determinate form? I'm going to explain first that one. Normally, if we write number over 0, this is approximately, if you write with limit, you know this is equal to infinity. And uh, 0 over a number is equal to uh, 0. Now, when we have when we have 0 over 0, we don't know which one has priority. That's why uh, we cannot easily calculate, uh, we cannot easily say infinity or zero. Both of them can be solution. So actually, uh, for zero over zero, there is no uh, solution. If there is no solution, the function is x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. When it is zero over zero, actually there is no solution. But uh, with the limit, we are going to change the function, we are going to factorize the function, especially 0 over 0, we are using the factorization method for the 0 over 0 indeterminate forms, we are going to factorize and we are going to find the limit of the, or we are going to find the value of the function. Here the important part, x square, uh, here the important part, normally when fx is equal to, when fx is equal to x squared minus 9 over x minus 3, you cannot change anything in the function. But when it is written with limit, you can factorize the function, you can uh, change the, you can multiply the function with another function. So you can, uh, it's easy, or you can derivate later. We are going to learn that one. You can derivate the function. So how to solve the, this kind of questions? Zero over zero indeterminate form. Firstly, we have to understand that that's zero over zero limit x tends to infinity, pardon, x tends to 3, x tends to 3, x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 is equal to, when you replace the value, 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3 is going to be, then it's equal to 9 minus 9 over 3 minus 3, that's equal to 0 over 0 is going to be. So this is indeterminate form. We understood that one. If you find that that's indeterminate form, then you are going to use factorization method. So the denominator is x minus 3, and you know this is a square minus b square, and a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b. We know that one. That's why here this is uh, 9 and 9 can be written as 3 square. Then it's going to be equal to limit x tends to 3 x square minus 3 square over x minus 3. That's equal to x minus 3 times limit. Pardon, I forgot to write the limit. And you shouldn't forget to write the limit. This is important part. Limit x tends to 3, x minus 3 over x plus 3 over x minus 3. And you can simplify this too. Then you can find limit x tends to 3 x plus 3 it's going to be then it's equal to 3 plus 3 that's equal to 6 and the limit is 6 at this point okay you can ask uh, this question to yourself why uh, there is a such name if we can calculate this one easily like 6 by factorization method I factorize this one and I found that is equal to 6 and the name is indeterminate form why the name is like that? Why we cannot calculate easily this one? And uh, I explained that one before and this one again I'm repeating here. Normally when you write the function x squared minus 9 over x minus 3, you cannot change anything on the function because this affects the domain of the function. x plus 3 and x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 normally they are similar functions. Similar functions, but not exactly the same. Here, only we, uh, by using the factorization, and only this allowed in limits, 
not in functions we are changing the function to this form but this is not possible in functions topic because of the rules of the functions okay the next question now x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x squared minus x minus 2 let's continue with the 2 square I'm going to replace the value 2 square minus 5 times 2 plus 6 over 2 square minus 2 minus 2 is going to be and uh, it's going to be equal to 4 minus 10 plus 6 over 4 minus 2 minus 2 that's equal to 0 over 0 so common method I said we are going to use factorization for the uh, 0 over 0 in determinate forms okay this is not the solution this is the first step first we should define that we should define that it is 0 over 0 define limit x tends to x0 f x is equal to 0 over 0 to factorize if it is 0 over 0 we have to factorize how to factorize this one these are quadratic equation x squared minus plus uh, quadratic forms x squared minus 5x plus 6 so uh, x x minus 3 and minus 2 it will be because the sum is minus 5x and the multiplication of them 6 that's why it's going to be equal to x minus 3 times x minus 2 then uh, this is going to be uh, minus 3x this is going to be minus 2x as you see the sum is minus 5x so this factorization is true x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6 it's going to be the second one x square minus x x square minus x minus 2 it's going to be and uh, here x and x easily uh, we know that one and this is prime number that's why the only the factors are 2 and 1 which one it's going to be uh, negative because the multiplication result is negative 2 times 1 is equal to minus 2 it should be one of them should be negative so this is negative because the bigger one is negative the sum is negative result it's going to be mi minus 2x it's going to be and x crossly when you multiply x minus 2 times x minus 1 is equal to plus 1 sorry x plus 1 is going to be equal to x squared minus x minus 2 so the factors are x minus 2 times x plus 1 it's going to be and let's if we return to our question limit x tends to 2 x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to when you factorize these two limit x tends to x tends to 2 x minus 2 times x minus 3 x minus 2 times x minus 3 and x minus 2 times x plus 1 is going to be okay when you simplify this two when you simplify this two it's going to be equal to limit x tends to 2 x minus 3 over x plus 1 as I told you before if you do uh, if you're solving the question uh, in the functions topic or if the uh, question is given only as a function you cannot simplify this two here okay then you can replace the value by 2 and it's going to be equal to 2 minus 3 over <coughs> 2 plus 1 which is equal to minus 1 over 3 is going to be so the limit of the expression is 2 over 3 okay uh, before solving this question I want you to remind about uh, uh, 0 over 0 in determinate form first we should define that it is 0 over 0 we should understand that that's 0 over 0 because if the question is given like example let me write here example 4 x squared minus 16 over x plus 4 it seems like the previous one the first one I mean uh, like this one 
but uh, in that form it was 3 and 3 minus 3 it's it was equal to 0 here it is 3 uh, 4 plus 4 is going to be and it's going to be equal to 16 minus 16 over uh, 16 minus 16 over 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 that's equal to 0 over 8 and this is not indeterminate form not indeterminate form means there's no need to there's no need to factorize the function directly you can find the limit actually the answer of the question is equal to 0 and we found that one okay this part was important and uh, let's return to our question here root x minus 1 we have and we have x cubed minus 1 here we have to know for this kind of questions of course very well a cubed minus b cubed and uh, a cubed plus b cubed definitions a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square is going to be so uh, a minus pardon x cubed minus x cubed minus x cubed minus 1 which is 1 cube also at the same time is going to be equal to x minus 1 times x uh, squared plus x times 1 plus 1 squared is going to be which is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 okay but uh, we don't have still uh, root x minus 1 because we have to simplify the roots here uh, x minus 1 somehow we should find the way to simplify that one and we know this one uh, a minus b can be written like uh, as square of the two numbers like they are not exactly given uh, square root of a square minus square root of b square and that's equal to square root of a minus square root of b times square root of a plus square root of b normally a minus b is equal to square root of a square you simplify and you find you found a okay then x minus 1 can be written x minus 1 can be written like square root of x minus 1 times square root of x plus square root of 1 normally square root of 1 square root of x minus square root of 1 times square root of square root square root of x plus 1 can be written so this is going to be equal to uh, square root of x minus 1 normally it's square root of 1 times square root of x plus 1 because root of 1 is going to be equal to 1 okay then instead of x minus 1 I'm going to write instead of x minus 1 root x minus 1 times root x plus 1 okay then limit let's start to solve the question limit x tends to 1 firstly I have to define that is 0 over 0 but the operations it was so easy that's why I didn't uh, write that one 1 minus 1 over uh, 1 cube minus 1 that's equal to 0 over 0 we understood that this is uh, 0 over 0 in determinant form then it's going to be equal to uh, root of x minus 1 over x cube minus 1 x cube minus 1 is going to be equal to x tends to 1 root of x minus 1 over I'm drawing the over part a bit bigger root of x minus 1 times root of x plus 1 which is this is equal to x minus 1 you remember this one and instead of x cubed minus 1 I'm going to write x minus 1 times x minus 1 times one more step I'm going to add to this one x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 and x minus 1 is equal to limit x tends to 1 okay root of x minus 1 times root of x minus 1 times root of x plus 1 
times x squared plus x plus x plus 1 is going to be okay root of x minus 1 and root of x minus 1 if we simplify this is going to be 1 then the limit it's going to be equal to limit x tends to 1 limit x tends to 1 uh, x minus 1 pardon 1 over 1 over root of x plus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 is going to be okay then this part uh, you can replace the uh, value now because we don't have indeterminate form at this part it's going to be equal to 1 over root of 1 plus 1 times 1 square plus 1 plus 1 is going to be that's equal to uh, 1 over 2 times 3 here root of 1 1 plus 1 2 1 square 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's 3 then the answer is going to be equal to 1 over 6 for this question okay this is the last one here it seems that uh, it's difficult to find the roots but when you see this one is not equal to when you see Okay, this question a bit different than the others because when you replace here 2, two, two over infinity and uh, 2 plus 2 over infinity uh, square minus 4 that's equal to number over infinity we know it's equal to 0 2 plus uh, 2 over infinity this is 2 squared minus 4 it's going to be and that's equal to 0 over 0 in determinate form so we are going to factorize this one we are going to try to factorize the denominator because here this is the uh, a squared minus b squared form it's going to be then uh, 2 plus 2 over x square minus 2 square is going to be equal to 2 plus 2 over x times pardon uh, plus 2 this is a minus a square minus b square a plus b times a minus b 2 plus 2 over x minus 2 it should be and when you simplify this 2 the answer is going to be equal to 2 plus 2 over x which is equal to uh, 4 plus 4 plus 2 over x times 2 over x is going to be then limit x tends to infinity 2 over x over 2 plus 2 over x squared minus 4 is going to be equal to limit x tends to 2 sorry infinity uh, 2 over x over 4 plus 2 over x times 2 over x is going to be 2 over x and 2 over x if we simplify it's going to be equal to limit x tends to infinity infinity 1 over 4 plus 2 over x it's going to be and uh, when you replace the here 1 over 4 plus 2 over infinity let me write here 1 over 4 plus 0 that's equal to 1 over 4 is going to be